Yep, back out. <laughs> the famous catchphrase. This time, <clears throat> it's my first walk for a, a week, I think. And we're down on the seafront. It's a nice day, like. Look at this. This here is called the Black Middens. And when the um, tide goes out, it's all this area, really. Black middens are them rocks there where the, where the waters are breaking. Aye. There's two piers there that's uh, South Shields Pier, Tyne Mouth Pier. We're gonna we're gonna go to the pier. This is the Collingwood Monument. We'll go on there. The Teletubbies house. And look, I'm out with him. All right. George Clooney. George Clooney. George Clooney. Got his beard. <laughs> so we're just gonna go for a little wander. Get my daily exercise. Dave's in my bubble. I've got. He's in my, um, my social bubble. Him, Thompson, Stoker. That's my bubble. It's the only people I ever see. Not even joking, like. My mum, she's had a jabs, so she's alright. Oh, it's a lovely day. Crisp, it's really cold. So here we are at the Spanish Battery Life Brigade Watch House. That was in a BBC detective drama that, I can't remember the name of it. We've walked all the way along from the car park, along the bottom to Lethal on this hill here. It's a big patch of ice, everybody's fallen over. Should have filmed that. Hilarious. Just climbing, climbing up the hill. Over there is the Priory, not the clinic, but the Priory. You check in. Old battery there as well for the well, that, that building on the right there is a um it's a modern it was a lifeboat station or like a radar yeah. listening post i've been in there you can go in there to join the heritage we can pay it's expensive isn't it all right uh, oh, i pretty much did look at that um ice from the back of the chairs <laughs> <laughs> everywhere else is melted apart from where the shadow is We've crashed over the pier, that's why it's closed. Oh, the pier's shut because the tide's up and the waves come over when the tide's high. It's a little closet, nanny state. Can't believe that. I was looking forward to going on the pier, like. Not to worry. Save that for another video. <clears throat> oh, but here we are. It's nice to come up in here and sit. A bit wet, them seats, like. Dead people seats. Bring some uh, kitchen roll if you come. Oh yeah. Oh look at it. It is. It's wild. Well, we'll not be going on the pier. Yeah, we'll go to the end of it. The start of it. Yeah, it's rough. Once the tide goes down, they'll open it. Baga. So here we are, stood on the edge of the cliffs of death cliffs of terror them you fall down there you're not uh, getting back up Just be careful where you put your feet look at all the rubbish man yeah, the, the sea's really rough over there it's not rough it's just the the design of it there's a bit of a swell so it hits the side of the pier it just comes up uh, any swell will do that the sea's not rough though you should see when it's rough. It's amazing. So we're just uh, going. This is as close as we're going to get to the pier. Watch a big, massive wall of water come over. It is quite rough. See it coming over the top there. It's spectacularly. It is pretty wild, like. We'll go down there. Tide's heading out, maybe. Good laugh.
I wonder if this is big enough. This is the back end of the priory. More man made. So here's the priory, Tynemouth Priory, built in, it was built 1930, No. just before the war, and the <laughs> bloody Germans came and bombed the place, look at that, what a waste, because they used to have cannons and that, so they had to fire the cannons at the Germans coming in the planes, so they bombed it and blew it up. Telling you there about it, uh, monkey. Oi, monkey. Oi, monkey. That's it. Been in before. You can visit. It's uh, it's quite expensive to get in, like, but it's a nice walk around at the back of it. This is uh, King Edward's Bay. There's somebody down there on a suicide suicide mission. He's going in to do a Reggie Perrin. He's just an absolute idiot. Like I wouldn't go in there. This is wild. When when you get in here, the waves, for some reason, are really powerful. And they just knock you off your feet. Like, just this bit though. You just sw you swim back in. I mean, what's what's he doing? You've got to be nuts to be in the water at this time of year. Well, I suppose people say it's invigorating, good for you. Aye, I'll leave it to them. Nice. I'll let them do it. I did cold water swimming once. Once. That was enough. Surf's up like, probably, there's probably millions of surfers around the corner. Imagine living there. How, the things you come across. How peculiar. He's got his mask. He's got his mask on. Aye. That's the peculiarity away. Look at that. <laughs> this is um, this is time of High Street, which is where we'll come. Uh, this is where we'll come drinking. We're going from bar to bar. There's about ten bars this side, ten that side. What a night. Well, when you're allowed, like. That's normally a cafe where people sit out. Everything's shut down. It's a nightmare. Everything's shut. So we're down from there, we've just been up there, we've come down the stairs of death, slippy like. And now we're watching uh, somebody slacklining. It's better than I would be. Take some day in that like. Oh, look at this, it's a catastrophe. <laughs> the tide catches people out. And waves are huge. They don't look on this camera, but they're massive. Be loads of surfers around the corner. Get a bit wild here, like. Why it's like watching Strictly Dancing on Icicles. Right, we'll go up and round to the um, the other beach now. We'll go and see the um, we're going to see the old swimming pool, the open air swimming pool. That'll be that'll be fun. So here we have the old Tynemouth outdoor swimming pool, which was big in the 1950s. But for some reason, it just went all to hell. 
I think it was half that was uh, the sea coming over the top of it. <laughs> Didn't really help. <laughs> I'll see if I can find an old picture of it. But that's uh, the old swim pool, what's left of it. We'll go down and have a walk around. Yeah. It's like a little rock pool now for, um, for like in the middle. Terrible. There we are, I'm in the pool. Actually in, right in the middle of that. Oh, derelict, I thought they would have just removed all this. They keep talking about, oh yeah, we'll do it up. We'll get it back to the way it was. Never happens like. Been saying it for years. It'll never happen. Not as long as that water's coming over there. Will this pool ever be back the way it was? So they might as well get rid of it. Build student accommodation here. <laughs> might as well. Let's have a look over this wall. Here we go. these waves I mean these waves are nothing compared to what sometimes comes up here and they just come straight over the top of these walls so really it was on a hiding to nothing wasn't it now what possessed them so we've just come around the corner and lo and behold, they're talking about uh, they're going to do it up. I can't see it myself, like. But that's what they reckon. Huh. Info at tinemouthoutdoorpool.co.uk Oh, dot com. How did you get this? It's mad. It's up there. It's got kids dying from me. Woo! <laughs> Colour coats, bay. Um, seeing some of the kids jumping off the piers into the deep water there. Crackers. And then we've got our own very own dirtle door. Just wondering how long that's going to be before it collapses. There's a lion rock. <laughs> and that, that beach, we've only done two miles, two point, no, wait, three miles from the car. It's a lovely taking it all in. Snow rush. Have you not seen that before? Yeah. I think that's what it's called. It's made that up like. Are you photographing me, filming you? Yeah. Shouldn't do that. Shouldn't cross the streams. <laughs> Been warned in my previous videos about crossing streams. No. <laughs> Who's this? Oh. <laughs> Friendliest cat in the Whitley Bay.
<laughs> what? Yeah, this one. Nah. You've got to get it, catch it, right? B1 coming in, incoming. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Mint. We're down on the um this promenade here was one of my jobs, repairing the seawall over there somewhere. I had the van parked down on the um on the concrete. We could only work at low tide for obvious reasons like. But it was mad. It's wild. It's right swell here. Here's a big one. This will get him. Nah. Ugh. And I saw the repair to the seawall. Work on that, tested that concrete. I just parked my van here. The crane there. Look at this. It's getting mad, the water. We've got drenched before. We got absolutely soaked. A big wave came over and got one. <laughs> as long as we've got this barrier here, we'll be alright. <laughs> Just get a bit wet. And I get pulled over though. waves Wait for one more to come in. <laughs> it seems it seems to have just gone mad, doesn't it? I don't know what's happened to the sea. <laughs> it's gone crazy. gone absolutely mad to see. Wild. Love it. We had some really good nights in there. 42nd Street. Me and him. Really good nights. And this was uh, Rio's bar. That was the nightclub. That was the Rex and the nightclub was called Deep. We had some mad nights in there. All the pubs up here are all shut down now. They've killed this place like. This should be the, sc the stag night capital of the world everywhere there was even a bar on the beach here they're all gone all gone ruined it all because the locals complained about all the mad behavior which i suppose but that was a really good pub i don't know if it's going to reopen or not it doesn't look like it does it so we've reached the destination of the dome this is on the phone i wonder if you can tell the difference between this this footage and the previous footage with the GoPro. So that's what be Spanish city used to be. Then it's now some sort of cafe, art gallery, whatever. Pretentious prittle prattle. Killed Whitley Bay, like, in my opinion. But that's just my opinion. And then we're gonna just turn around and go back. We've done five miles to get here. Not be five back though, take the easy route back. Cut shortcuts. 
Well, that's just, we're back to the car park. Yeah. Cannot believe how many people are out and about. It's a good thing, good thing or not. Do you think it's a good thing that everybody's out? Yes. I had to bet. It would be so bad, right? But when people are walking towards you, they, they not move. They just stay, stay online, just to walk straight into you. I'll move, mate, you're all right. Anyway, enough morning. Lens is dirty. We're back, nice walk, done about nine mile. So, see you on the next one.